Hello guys, Samir here bringing you the Gear Hearts War Factory for December 15th. I destroyed the War Factory in just two unboosted attacks, one GPE and one AZ. So first of all, let's check out the layout. So this is one of the older layouts of the War Factory with the addition of grapplers. My plan today was to clear the top portion of the factory and finish from around 12 o'clock of the headquarters. So in my first attack I used GBE on these two rocket launchers because I did not want them to hit my Zookas or kill the critters which I was going to use later on. So I put a couple of barrages on both the rocket launchers and a few artilleries as well. I killed one rocket launcher and the second one was also very low in health. Lastly, I used some critters to destroy the shock mines by the headquarters. So my second attack was all two cuts. So I started off with destroying the rocket launcher, it took just one artillery. Then I flare landed on the beach. I was a bit concerned about this laser, so I decided to use smoke on landing. Now looking back, it might not have been necessary actually. So I gathered my zookas. Then I was going to flare them right in between these two rocket launchers. So I put the flare. Now the only thing here was I was late with my smoke. So as you can see, the rocket launcher has turned, the laser beam has turned. So I have already lost the delay. And to top it off, I was late with my next smoke as well. And the laser beam fired. It killed a lot of my zookas. But that was just how it is. So from there on, I wasn't late with my smokes anymore. So I got whatever zookas were left in between the rocket launchers. I flared onto the right rocket launcher, put a medkit on my zookas. Now I was going to use two shocks. So I shocked all the splash damage buildings. Now once the rocket launchers were destroyed, I put some critters to distract the cannons. Now whatever remaining splash damage buildings were there, they could all be shocked with just one shock. So I just kept shocking those buildings, those defenses. One more shock. Now as soon as the Doom Cannon, Shock Blaster and Flamethrower were gone, I flared my Zookas to left, put another batch of critters on the cannons. Took the cannons out. Then flared my Zookas to around 11 o'clock of the HQ. But as you can see, some of the Zookas were in range of these sniper towers. So I flared them a little further back. One Zooka got picked off by the grappler. But I had 20 Zookas remaining at this point, And now all of them were in a safe zone. Now it was just a matter of time. There was 250% building health on the war factory and a couple of shield generators level 3. It was just a matter of time now. But as you must be aware, the Zookas deal a significant amount of damage. So even 20 Zookas were really getting some work done here. I finally got the shield down and it came down very close to the last few seconds, but boom, the war factory was gone. It's a pretty easy war factory for today. 
just make sure you are not late with your smoking and you will get it done in a couple of attacks with far less casualties so thanks for watching guys and good luck with your attacks bye